somebody new. Crazy. If this ain't the craziest, narcissistic, most narcissistic story I've ever heard, I, I don't know what it is. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Kadeem. Now, I'm sure by now, y'all know that the, the dentist, um, what was his name? He, he, he was found guilty, Charles Allison, um, for killing his brother-in-law, or pretty much. He hired some people to do it. So a Florida dentist was arrested. And charged that he hired three hitmen eight years ago to kill his sister, ex-husband, a prominent law professor, so she could move back to Fort Lauderdale area from the Tallahassee area with her two children. Now, what kind of nutcase would rather kill their kid's ex-father, first of all? This is definitely a family full of uh, narcissistic um just dysfunction. Y'all know how the mobile works. When we talk about, it's like they all attach to a mobile. You hit one, the whole damn thing move. This has got to be the craziest damn story. <laughs> and please forgive me for laughing, because I just can't believe, I'm laughing to keep from crying. I can't believe nobody this damn crazy. They all need to be in a damn crazy house. The mental institution, the sane asylum. And that's why it's just befitting that I got the beds waiting on them. In the uh, thumbnail, just got to put the mattresses down. Okay, Charles was Adelson was being held. He, okay, so he was without bond with a conspiracy to commit murder. Um. And he was arrested by the U.S. Marshals, okay? Adelson and other family members have long been cited by prosecutors as investigators as potential suspects in the 2014 killing. Killing of Florida State University law professor Dan Markell by two men at his Tallahassee home. Markel, 41, had been married to Wendy Adelson and had been unable to return to South Florida because Marco had joint custody of their young children after a highly contentious divorce. Okay? Now, Leon uh, County State Attorney Jack Campbell said in a statement that Adelson was indicted by this grand jury. I can just go ahead and tell you, well, he, 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 he was found guilty. Okay, um, they they had the man on a, a secretly recording of him talking to a former girlfriend and employee, Catherine Mabangnu. She was charged six months later with organizing the killing. Adelson had been under the, at uh, under surveillance. Now. The crazy part is the na a neighbor saw him go in the garage, pow, pow, pow the man, and drive away real fast, okay, in a Prius. Okay. Now, when they finally did some dinging and pinging, and you know how they do good police work, they found out that the Adelson dude um, hired, you know, there was, there was a connection, just put it like that, there was a connection between the hit people and this Adelson dude. The crazy part to me, and I guess the reason why I'm doing the video, is like, when we talk about mental health and mental health, some of this behavior is so crazy that a lot of us, um, are desensitized to this madness and we have a family member that want to help an, another family member no matter how insane 
the feat is that they want you to help them with. You just down. You just going to do it because they're your family member, which is insane. So they don't have to pull a bed out for you. Now, okay, the woman did not want uh, her husband. She wanted to move down out of Tallahassee down to southern Florida, wherever, right? She is not like she was going moving to another state or anything like that. Just to South Florida. That's where she wanted to go. From Tallahassee. And they had joint custody. Now, instead of her dealing with the joint custody, she's so selfish and crazy that after the custody hearing, and they said, no, you cannot move to South Florida. You have to continue to stay here so your husband can have visitation. A simple request. Now, if you want to move, he's that's that's not possible. We don't we don't want you moving to another part. So she couldn't handle it. She could not handle it. So they all concocted this plan. The mama, her their mother, the Adelson mama couldn't stand. Uh, the uh, Markel dude, no way. So she all in it. She ended up getting arrested too, because she's part of the madness. Cause she, who in the hell would want their grandkids to know that their father damn disappeared and was murdered, and you know you got something to do with it, and you watching them cry and all this stuff, and you are the one and the cause of their father being dead in the first place. Same with the mother. And the uncle. I just thought maybe the grandmother might have had a little bit more sense. Obviously, she's the, pa- the the matriarch of madness. Now, they done crazy selves done killed this man. What the hell? So the kids wouldn't go stay in Tallahassee and they could just go ahead and go with their mother to South Florida. And you're so stupid. That within a couple weeks after y'all killing the man, you just done moved to Florida. Like, you, like bingo, red flag, the biggest red flag you could possibly have. Your butt done moved to where you wanted to go in the first place that you asked the judge, and he said no, and then the man is dead now. You, y'all really didn't think this out very much. In broad daylight, they killed this man. Now your kid's not going to have nobody. The uncle going to jail for setting up the mat. Y'all are crazy. This is sick. Listen, I know I'm going too far. It's just such a bizarre story. I'm, you know, I, I, I can't believe this. I can't believe that they would kill somebody so because they wanted to move to South Florida. And the, and him, Charles Addison, then lost his whole dental career. You see how crazy the whole family, he was a prominent dentist in Broward County. You're gone. You won't be uh, practicing anymore because you decided to set up a hit on your sister's ex-husband because she couldn't handle the law that told her what to do and that she had to stay home, stay where she was and not be able to move with those kids. And because of that, she was willing to go for broke. She didn't kill the guy. You might as well say it, because that's what the, they concocted the damn plan to kill this man. Well, listen, he was found guilty. Okay, so it, this is no alleged no more. So I know what I'm saying is like 
No, he, he's done. Of course, he's found guilty. Now he's going to spend the rest of his life in jail on something so crazy that his sister and mother approved of. The sister's idea was, I want to move to South Florida so bad in her selfish, narcissistic, personality disordered self. And so in order for me to be able to do that, I got to kill him. And you don't have no remorse for your children or nothing. And if they got to lose their father so you can go your ass to Florida. I'm done. I, okay, I just want to know, am, did y'all hear this story? Have you heard it? And what do you think about this craziness? You see what I mean? And the standards in a lot of families that is just off the chain. They think that that's their life mission to... um. Well, that's my brother. Well, that's see, and I don't. That's that stuff is crazy. Anyway, let me know what you think in the next video, and I I'll see you in it.